If you're new to Bitcoin, take your time to go out there and Google it and learn about it. It truly is one of the most important inventions in the history of humankind and certainly the most important invention since the internet. Go out there, make a Bitcoin wallet, get involved, start using it, learn about all the positive ways in which this is going to improve the lives of every single person on the planet. Uh, get involved, do it today, it's going to help everybody. Thank you. Bitcoin and things like it is the equivalent of the red pill. Okay? We are entering a completely world of uncharted water Have right you now. made any investments in Bitcoin? So, I mean, I personally, I own Bitcoin in my hedge fund. I own Bitcoin in my fund. I own Bitcoin in my private account. Uh, it is a huge deal. It's a huge, huge, huge deal. Because what you're talking about right now is for the next three to five years, an unbelievably better store value. It is gold 2.0. I think this is a currency, a currency that's really going to work eventually. Well, I think it is working, um, and uh, there will be other currencies like it that may, may be even better. Um, but in the meantime, um, there's a big industry around Bitcoin. There is no Bitcoin company. There is no uh, Bitcoin building. There's even, not even a Bitcoin server anywhere that you could shut down. It is completely distributed. Um, that's what's unique about Bitcoin. It is, for the first time, a way for the two of us to exchange value online without a third-party intermediary. Until the invention of Bitcoin, for you and me to exchange money online, we had to employ a third party, like PayPal, like Visa, like MasterCard, right? Now we live in the 21st century. If we wanna have a video call to China, we can do that for free. But to send a couple hundred bucks, which is essentially just ones and zeros being moved around, costs 5% plus takes over a day. Bitcoin is exciting because it shows how cheap it can be uh, Bitcoin is is better than currency in that uh, you don't have to ha be physically in the same place. And, of course, for large transactions, currency can, can get pretty inconvenient. You'll see Bitcoin trading at 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000. Rick Falkvina does an excellent analysis. He predicts that Bitcoin will capture between 1% and 10% of the global Forex market, which implies a price of between $100,000 to $1 million per Bitcoin. Most of the people who are on the sidelines not buying Bitcoin today will start to buy Bitcoin when it gets over 1,000. Mm. And then a greater percentage of people will definitely plow into Bitcoin when it starts to get over 10,000. It's still predicting Bitcoin, $10,000 per Bitcoin in three years. Casares, he is the CEO of Zappo, which is a Bitcoin wallet and Bitcoin vault. I think it's mostly a very positive thing. I think we're gonna see ups and downs like with any other emerging technology. Uh, but I think Bitcoin is here to stay and it makes sense that, that it be taxed and treated like any other. So let's, let's make a boat call here. In 10 years, what do you think Bitcoin will be worth? One Bitcoin. Between half a million dollars and a million dollars. And seeing how Chinese are buying Bitcoin like crazy, I actually had to adjust this number upwards. But then you come up with a number of about two to five million okay. dollars per Bitcoin. I suggest that everyone go back to buy one Bitcoin. Uh, not, too, not too much, only one is enough. If everyone in this world, people, uh, just to go back by one Bitcoin, you know, the Bitcoin value go to the one million dollar. And when the Bitcoin have one million dollar, you know, the, all around the, the world will be crazy. And uh, everyone will be the follow. And the other digital currency just to be, you know, um, be grandson of the Bitcoin. So for me, I think uh, for a lot of people, they don't exactly understand why, why it's Bitcoin.